This is Gita Prana signing on again. I'm again fooling around trying to find the decent lighting in this particular space to make a video about the mini albums and junk journals that I make. I'm choosing to show you this time one that I'm not done with. I've only got a couple pages made, but I thought I'd check this out and see how it shows up in the light. Um, this is a mini album, a 7x7 mini album, and the primary paper here is a collection, I think, from Recollections that was called the Steampunk Botanica. A couple years I got it, a couple years ago, and I thought it was really pretty, but now I don't think it's so pretty. So I've been altering it. I'm using it because I don't like it just sitting around in my stash. But I'm using other papers as well. There's um, typography from Graphic 45 and Nirvana from Marion Smith, mostly. And I'm changing the papers a lot. So this is the first page. Um, again, a uh, huge recognition and thank you to Anna Rostad, who is ex Anna Ro one on YouTube. That um, she's a phenomenal mini album maker, and some of the construction ideas for pages I've basically copied at least in part from her. So, this is one of them. Some of it is on row studs, and I'll tell you where it is. This is from her uh, curio old Curiosity Shop album. Uh, this paper is originally uh, red. I didn't really like it. I started putting uh, tissue paper over the flowers to turn them a little more orange. I glued some seed beads in there. Uh, the paper clip right here on the butterfly holds the um, little doors closed. The magnet is hidden. Uh, these are Tim Holtz rub-ons, Create a Beautiful World. It opens up like this. Let's see. Still not the greatest light, I tell you. Something is really shining. I think it's this light here. Oh, too dark now. So, uh, the middle is, here's typography paper. These are fussy cuts from Steampunk Botanica. These are tags on the side here. These are tags. Uh, this die is a set called uh, Rondelet from Sizzix. And this is a download from uh, possibly Graphics Fairy, one free digital image site. Uh, really pretty images, nothing on the back, so you can put photographs or journaling. Eventually, I might stick some small little tags in these, behind these more little, what do you call those, gears. This is a saying which I printed up. Um, I'm still not sure if I'm going to make this a Ridgely themed album, but some of these are sayings from Swami Vivekananda and some other places. Some um, embossed gears from a stamp set. This is a LeBlanc stamp which I have uh, painted and in some places uh, um, put uh, glossy accents. It, this right here is gold leafed with that other kind of leaf and it pulls out. I'll show you when I get to the tag that's inside. So it shuts up like this. And then the tag is actually where the frame is. Here's the frame. It sits there in such a way that when I put it back in there is a hole in this paper here. So the other side is Tim Holtz paper that I've distressed up. Then you turn the page. There's only a couple pages on this now. I hope it's going to be four or so pages. And the glare is really bad again. Let's see if I can move this. There. Um, I wanted to keep the steampunk botanica theme, so I've tried to steampunk up some flowers. Um, often I've used flowers that I cut out of the botanica papers. Uh, what I've used a lot of is the little hearts that come out of these rondelet gear die cuts. Uh, some punches that I actually uh, are cardstock and foil tape and all sorts of other stamping and painting on top of them. And there's acetate here behind these. You can put these little uh, oops and I hear it coming off. Uh, photos behind there. This is held with a paper clip. 
This is a Tim Holtz spinner. This is also a um, embossing folder from Tim Holtz. You take this out because right here is a secret fold out that's part of the paper. It's a tag. Comes out right here. This folds out like this. And it's not going to fit in frame because this folds out again and again. I haven't got all the tags in here yet. Here's one of those gorgeous Alphonse Moucha designs that I downloaded from the internet and it's on a tag. Nothing on the back so you can put photos. Eventually I'll have something more here but I have just right now a piece of vellum that I don't particularly think goes here very well, Tim Holtz paper. Then I made this construction of steampunky flowers that uh, are made from uh, uh, tattered florals dye and the paper and some other little dyes that I don't think are even um, identified. I use the real washers to hold the magnet to be the to the closure for the magnets here. So it goes like this. Next page, oh boy, I don't know how I'm going to get this in frame. But it starts out here with some wings, and these also came from the same um, compass embossing folder that the other page did. This actually is alcohol inked because it was pink and I didn't like it, and I didn't want to go and buy a whole new package of hearts just for one. This has got that um, so-called uh, green gold foil on top of doily here. And here I use this new uh, Ranger sticky embossing powder which is fantastic if you want to deal with things like gold foil. But the only thing that you need to know is it has a texture and if it's something really fine like gold foil that texture really is going to sew through. But I don't mind. And here is a couple tags that I made. Tiny tags um, from various remnants of what I was doing. They're both blank on the back. Here is an insight out little envelope from the Graphic 45 typography collection. I like it better, the inside out. Um, now, this opens up like this, uh, right, and it opens up again and again, but uh, this is another one of those transparencies, and there's a tag in here on top of the Botanica paper. And this side, there is room. There's a band and some, I think, an EK success punch. And I haven't really put the tags in here yet. I might. I have to be careful or this will become way too big. Ah, uh, whoops. Tag goes back. Then you can flip this up. And the bottom of this, here's some um, typography paper from Graphic 45 and the little rondelet inside thing I used as a tab to pull out. Again, I'm, if this goes for Ridgely, I'll stick this picture of Swami Vivekananda that I got off an old envelope and a saying of his. If not, I'll just take that tag out. Um, here's a regular old shipping tag stamped up and distressed up. Oh, actually tea dyed. And a graphic 45 from the Time to Flourish a fussy cut that I changed the color of the the paper, which to me, <laughs> the Graphic 45 images are so beautiful, I always feel kind of guilty changing the color. It's almost like a sacrilege. They're so beautiful just as they are. And, let's see, the next, how do we get the next in, well, this is the bottom. Here's another frame, which I've stuck another piece of Graphic 45 paper in. It has that kind of nice plaid back. It just goes in like this, so you can actually slide it in. Um, there's another little uh, album. Tim Holtz uh, spinner holds it closed, and I haven't really finished this. I have to put some decorative paper in here, but it goes like this, and then the spinner closes it. It's kind of like a matchbook. And then a, from the typography cardstock cutouts kind of thing, which goes to, I don't know how well you can see this, but 
on the base this Marion Smith paper and a sticker that I had in my stash, Butterfly from the collection, and I made a steampunk flower here, which I don't know how well you can see, but um, my camera doesn't go in and out so easily. Now, how will I get... I'm not sure I can even get the... Here, you can kind of see the next part. There's two parts. There's this bottle that... Pull this out and it's a tag. And it also has a um, tea dyed tag and another tag. And this is so big, I just don't have the way to get it into the frame. Here's some more tags here, some more steampunked flowers. And that's the second page. This is onto some magnet or another. Um, whoa, it's all falling apart. And then I have to remember how it goes. There we go. Sort of like that. And then it also just has another tag. I'm not going to pull it out. It's like the first one without the LeBlanc stamp. And then this is the last page that, again, I borrowed the design from Honoro Stat X Honoro One. Uh, it's a, there's four little flaps here. And of course, I have uh, paper clips holding them because I didn't want to use so many magnets, but I'm sorry I didn't. This is a die cut from Spellbinders. These uh, have lots of mixed media technique on it, and I don't want to make the video really long, but it basically is um, embossed and then foil on top of it. These are die cuts. So these open up like so. And then you can flip these up, and they all flip. It's The thing is closed. The pages are closed while these are in the position I just showed you. So in order to open the page, you have to flip it to the other side. And they have to be flipped in a certain order. So here's the other side. There's um, your places to stick more tags, which I will eventually put in. There's a lot of mixed media stuff going on on this page. I don't know that I'm going to describe it here. I'm not going to do this long, long video, I don't think. Maybe someday I'll do it again. Um, and then you can also open each one of these, and then there's a tea dyed little place for journaling or a photo, and some Tim Holtz paper, which is also tea dyed. And then they open up on either side. Here's more tags, more of the paper, another saying here. Uh, some, what do you call this? Cloth leaves that I foiled up from. Michael's, I suppose, and some more of that rondelet, those cute little rondelet gears. I'll put some tags in here, but I haven't yet. And likewise, the other side, some tags, another thing, um, some more little places that you can tuck things, and you can put something inside this as well. So, that's that side. Now, to put it back and to close... Oh, I didn't show you the inside. Then you open it up. And here we just have this uh, Steampunk Botanica Busy Busy paper by itself. And then I made another little Steampunk collage. I edited the paper because I think it was kind of crude or not really done kind of paper, cheapo drawings. And I just um, made them more mixed media and downloaded one of these gorgeous Alphonse Moucha um, images. There will be a butterfly on there eventually. This is from the Graphic 45 Time to Forest collection, but I put, it says October, but I put my own saying over the top, You Are the Self. Uh, then you close it up, and to lock it up you have to put these back, and that's that. And I'll just show you um, the page I'm constructing now, it's not done, is to go with this one, so it's got the same. And um, 
I have, haven't moved things down because I've got this wild idea that I want things to be rising up off the page and there will be a little bird that's free from the cage. And then I realized that I had these beautiful tags that I made for a, junk, for a junk journal of mine that I never used that go perfectly in here. And so they'll be in there instead of what I originally intended. Uh, it will be a while. It takes me a really long time to make these journals because I and albums because I don't have a lot of free time. So I do it for 15 minutes here, 15 minutes there. So uh, maybe in a month I'll be done with this, or maybe my mojo will disappear and it will be a year before I finish it. So um, I hope you liked at least the beginning of it. Uh, you'll see that I don't really do too much pastel. I think the next one I make I'm going to force myself to be a pastel colored one. And um, thank you very much for watching. I will attempt to finish this and bring you the full thing. And have a wonderful day or evening or wherever you are. Enjoy!